been over two weeks since I've been outside. This feels just wonderful. A little fresh air. So why has it been so long? This vlog is entitled My Life on Two Wheels. Well, it's been anything but that of late. An amazing vacation in Greece, 10, 11 days. Come back, as you saw in the last vlog, balls deep into COVID. So I had to fight that off. And now that slow claw back of trying to regain your fitness after a period of time off the bike. Like I know it doesn't go fast, but that top end power that you spent all summer building up, that dwindles pretty quickly. It sucks. So I'm assuming like most people, after taking some time off the bike, you jump back in way too hard. So what I did after coming back from Greece, I wasn't feeling great. Jumped on the trainer, a couple of harder sessions, hour long sessions. Body wasn't quite ready for it. So instead of my body focusing in on trying to repair itself and deal with the infection, Oh no, I said, hey body, focus on me, focus on getting that fitness back. Probably not the best thing to do. So what I'm trying to do now is a whole bunch of zone two type workouts. So zone two for me is anywhere from 145 watts to 170 watts. Keep it in and around there. Like right now I'm doing 140 watts. And then interspersed with some zone four, shorter zone four sprints, intervals. Trying to get that lung capacity back up and a little bit of strength back in the legs. Loading, loading, deep for the lyrics like I'm bowling, bowling, deep pushing on, keep rolling, rolling. No one will listen, but I told him, told him one more time, your favorite MC's bones are silver. These reps here are golden, golden. Cards on the table, there's no folders. Spit bars at the club, rolling, rolling. TikTok comes along, they get ripped off. Man, get pissed off when I start lift off. Sweet like flame is cookie, I'm biscuit off. Planty, yeah, the bars I get ripped off. Picked up my soft, yo, every time I tripped up, looks petty, trending the big rock. Me and my jeans, so I've done years and years and years of sweet spot training. You know, it's pretty good. It's done me well, but I'm all about training fads. So I'm going to try this peri periodization. I think I said that correctly. What is that? Well, I think it's basically your workouts are structured around 80% zone two and then that other 20% zone four, zone five. Now remember, zone two is not easy peasy. And for me, 170 watts, that's still a lot of work. And if I'm gonna do big blocks, 15 minutes, 20 minutes on the trainer at 170 watts, I'm gonna be feeling it. But again, it's supposed to be conversational. And right now, it's not conversational. Right now, sustained 170 watts is a thumb in the mouth, fetal position crying for mommy which is most of my rides so yeah I'm gonna try that see how it goes apparently it's the preferred way for team UAE Emirates and what's good for them it's got to be good for me quick update for you on the Shimano recall crank issue as you all know Altegra and Jory's cranks predominantly from 2019 and earlier Massive recall due to them uh, failing, causing injury. Dropped mine off at the, the boys at Fat Moose. I have a 2017 Altegra crank set on my gravel bike. Um, was kind of hoping there was a hairline fracture, but no, no, not to be. Everything's good, above board, tickety boo. No new crank set for Maddie. Unless I have to buy it myself. It's a lovely late October day. It's a tad breezy, 30 kilometer an hour wind gusts, but the temperature, 17 degrees, is gorgeous. Just me and the butterfly. So 
so I'm biking alongside the Ottawa Canal. I've talked about this before, both in the uh, spring as well as the fall. Fall, they drain it, as you can see here. What does that mean to you and I? Well, mostly to me. It's a little smelly. It's the time of the year they pull carcasses out of the canal and shopping carts. Yeah. It's amazing how much easier putting out 205 watts is when you're outside versus the near-death experience that is 205 watts inside. Made it home. Not super arduous. Again, mostly zone two. Um, unfortunately, Saram Red shifters let me down again. I should have checked before I left the house. Again, I haven't touched the bike in, oh, I don't know, 16 days, 17 days. So I don't understand how the current could drain from the shifter. But stupid me, I should have checked. Left hand shifter, which shifts the uh, gears up the stack, um, dead. I found that out right when I hit this little hill. So a little hill that I should have done in zone, low zone four ended up being a low zone five climb. Hey, I'm better off for it, right? At the end of the day. So I'm gonna change the battery there. Um, wanna do a vlog in the next week or so. Talk about this speed sleeve saddlebag. Love it, but what's in it? So we'll explore that a little bit. Also, I'm gonna do an update on the Mariposa. Uh, if you've seen earlier vlogs, you know that I got this bad boy this year. Beautiful custom-made steel frame from a company in Toronto, Ontario called Mariposa. Hence, I call it my butterfly. It's, it's amazing, but I wanted to give you an update on it. Uh, the pluses and the minuses. And spoiler alert, there's no minuses.